Hello, you are welcome how to solve for x in this nice exponential equation from here. We have two methods to use. Let's look at the first method. And from what we are given, that is 27 raised to power x plus x equals to 0. From here, let's take x to this side. Then this becomes 27 raised to power x equals to minus x. Then next, we can remove this power of x and multiply both power by 1 over x. So we have 27 raised to power x then times raised to power 1 over x. Then equals here we have minus x also raised to power 1 over x. Then since this multiply, this power will cancel out. Then what we have left is 27 raised to power 1. This is still 27 and equals to minus x raised to power 1 over x. Then we can equally write this side first. That is, we have minus x raised to power 1 over x now equals to 27. Then, from here, let 1 over x be equals to minus u. So, we should let 1 over x here be equals to minus u. Then, when we make x the subject, so x will then be equal to minus 1 over u and uh, which also implies that minus x now equals to 1 over u. So when we make this substitution from here, we have minus x now, we can write that as 1 over u, then raised to power 1 over x and 1 over x is minus u. And equals to 27. Now, from the law of indices, 1 over u here, we can write it as u raised to power minus 1, then raised to power minus u equals to 27. Then, when this power multiply each other, minus times minus become plus, so we have u raised to power u now equals to 27. And here 27 is same thing as 3 raised to power 3. And uh, that means here we have u raised to power u now equals to 3 raised to power 3. So when we compare this from here, we have u to be equals to 3. Then, since x equals to minus 1 over u from here, we have x equals to minus 1 over u then we can say that x is now equals to minus 1 over 3 so here we have the value of x as minus 1 over 3 then let's look at the second method very quickly from here What is given which is 27 raised to power x plus x equals to 0. From here we can divide through by 27 raised to power x and then divide this side also 27 raised to power x. Here this we cancel out to remain 1. So we have 1 plus x over 27 raised to power x then equals to 0 divided by this is 0 then next we can write this as 1 plus x times 27 raised to power minus x from the law of indices here and which is equals to 0 so let's separate 1 to this side that's minus 1 so we have x times 27 raised to power minus x equals to minus 1. Then from here, we want to apply the W 
Lambert's function, and when we have W function of alpha exponent alpha, so this will still give us alpha. That is, the power of the exponent and the coefficient of the exponent has to be same thing here. So now, from here, we can also write 27 raised to the power minus x here again, because when we have exponent ln a, this will still be a. So let's write this as exponent ln 27 raised to the power minus x. So we have x now multiplied by here we have exponent. Okay, so from here, let's remove this. Before we apply this, let's remove this minus here and clear and multiply through by minus 1. So this becomes minus x times 27 raised to the power minus x then equals to 1. Then now, we can say this is minus x now times exponent ln 27 raised to the power minus x then equals to 1. And uh, from here, we are almost having the power same thing as the coefficient. And first, let's take this minus x from the law of logarithm. The power here can come to the back, and we have minus x multiplied by exponent minus x ln 27 now equals to 1. And from here, let's multiply both sides by ln 27 in order to make this minus x ln 27. So we multiply through by ln 27 here. Then this become minus x ln 27. Then multiply by exponent minus x ln 27. Now equals to ln 27 from here. Then this side we already have the coefficient and the power the same. Then what we have here, we can equally write this as ln 3 raised to the power 3. And uh, here from the law of logarithm, 3 can also come to the back and we have this equals to 3 ln 3. And also from here, we can write 3 here as exponent ln 3. So that is exponent ln 3 will still be 3. Then what we have now become ln 3 multiplied by exponent ln 3. Also from here we have the power and the coefficient equal so that what we have here which is minus x ln 27 times exponent minus x ln 27 now equal to this and next we take the w function on both sides now so w function of minus x ln 27 times exponent minus x ln 27 then equals to also w function of ln 3 exponent ln 3 then here this one reduced to minus x ln 27 then equals to this one reduced to ln 3 and from here we can express 27 as 3 raised to the power 3 and we have minus x ln 3 raised to the power 3 equals to ln 3 and this 3 can come to the back here and we have minus 3x ln 3 now equals to ln 3 and from here we can divide both sides by ln 3 and uh, from here ln 3 we cancel out we need minus 3x 
also ln3 cancel out the remain 1 and minus 3x equals to 1 then divide both sides by minus 3 here then here we have x left which is equals to minus 1 over 3 so also from here we have x equals to minus 1 over 3 then quickly we can check if this satisfy the given problem and uh, from what is given here which is 27 raised to power x plus x equals to 0 let's substitute x equals to minus 1 over 3 and here we have 27 raised to power minus 1 over 3 then plus here we have minus 1 over 3 is this giving us 0 from here then what we have here which is 27 raised to power minus 1 over 3 we can say this is 1 over 27 raised to power 1 over 3 then plus plus times minus here is minus so we can say this is minus 1 over 3 is this equal to 0 from here then this is cube root of 27 and uh, which is 3 so we have 1 over 3 here then minus 1 over 3 is it equal to 0 then 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 0 and which is equal to 0 and left hand side equals to right hand side and x we can say that x equals to minus 1 over 3 is a valid solution to this given here problem thank you for watching subscribe to this channel turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up see you in the next class and bye for now